He's won three world championships, including a freestyle title way back in 2000. Dennis Anderson and Gravedig. Go ragged edge right off the bat, and let me respond real quickly, Mark, as we go on board with Dennis here to the comments that Neil made. I'll do that in a minute. Let's go over with a minute. Wow! You feel like what that leap felt like when you're on board, don't you? Incredible. Certainly impressive watching that tachometer going up and down, turning between 7,000 and 9,000 RPM. Most impressive. What I wanted to get to is Neil making the point that he was mad about the racing call. Dennis isn't happy either because Neil kind of got in his face and you saw last week about it. And Dennis, this is, wait a minute. I didn't do anything wrong. Don't be accusing me of this. So Dennis wants to throw it down and kind of settle Neil down a little bit. So the rivalry that Dennis and Tom have, yeah, it extends to the other parts of Team Gravedigger and Team Mintz as well. Oh, absolutely. They're both equally as passionate about their team and their truck. Final 10 for Anderson. He needs to finish big here and grab bonus points to get the victory here. And remember, if he can get into bonus time, that's where he can make hay, because remember Neil's problems late. Grave Digger still looks at 100%. Uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna slide it into bonus time, make certain he gets into that Magnaflow exhaust bonus time, doing some donuts. He's got 30 more seconds to impress these bonus judges here, and he needs to get it. He's had great momentum so far, but he needs to get out there and hammer it big time. Now again, remember, we didn't break the score down in detail. Neil did get three bonus points, even though he struggled through his bonus time. Dennis is having the better bonus period. Yeah, he is. Neil may have been a little better in regulation, so we'll see how this all balances out. This is a tough one for the judges here. I guarantee that. Well, Dennis has got equally as big an air. He needs to, you know, round this freestyle out with some great air, some interesting crossroads right here. Yes. Look at yes. this. That's how you wrap it up. Well, there you go. That's the exclamation point on an amazing night in Orlando, and there's nobody set. Look at this place. Listen. These fans love me, and I love them. And you know what? I'm going to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for every nut on, every shingle on my roof and every nut and bolt on my truck. Thank you guys for driving me to who I am today. It's a beautiful world out here at Monster Jam. We don't even worry about the economy. Look at the stands, they're full of people, man. What a break from life to come out here and spend the weekend with us. And I truly appreciate you guys to the bottom of my heart, man. I love my fans. I drive this truck for these guys and my crew. I'm out here getting all the limelight. Dustin Brown and Opie, these guys wrench on this truck all week long just to see me do this for you guys out here tonight.